get ready to go. We're glad that you're all here, so now it's time to start the show. We're not in school, but we can still pretend by making music until this ends. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Hey there, Falcons. Guys, we got some new stuff to do today. We got some new songs. We have some new activities, and we actually have a brand new instrument to make as well. So hopefully you got your materials ready from last week, and hopefully you're ready to uh, make some music, because I'm done talking, because you know what? Let's make some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, second grade, get your boots on, because we got a brand new song that's going to take us somewhere that's very muddy. Somewhere where there are different types of animals, crocodiles, alligators perhaps. Somewhere where there's vines that hang. Somewhere that's a little bit, a little bit muddy, a little bit dirty. You know what I'm talking about? A swamp. Exactly right. I'm talking about a swamp is what I'm talking about. I have a song called the Cedar Swamp. You know, Cedar Crest High School, right? I'm not talking about Cedar Crest High School. I'm talking about Cedar Swamp. Let me sing the song for you, Cedar Swamp. It goes like this. Way down low in Cedar Swamp, water's deep and muddy. There I saw a pretty little miss. There I saw my honey. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Cedar Swamp. Now, in this song, there are some motions we're going to learn, but first, let's learn the song. I'll sing it, you echo back. Listen. Way down low in Cedar Swamp. Water's deep and muddy. There I saw a pretty little miss. There I saw my honey. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Good. Try a little bit longer this time. Listen. Way down low in Cedar Swamp, water's deep and muddy. There I saw a pretty little miss. There I saw my honey. Hold on a second. My honey. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Me, Ray, Doe. It's a tri-chord, right? Got one in this song, too. They're in all, lots of our songs. Swing a lady up and down. Swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down. Swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Good, let's try the whole song together. Sing along with me, here we go. Way down low in Cedar Swamp, water's deep and muddy. There I saw a pretty little miss, there I saw my honey. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. Now, it's actually a really fun that little activity you can do with this, but you're going to need some people. Okay, so if you've got four people at your house, including yourself, you can make this work. Any number really works, but four or more is good. And actually, you want to have an even number, too. That makes it a lot easier to play, okay? So the first thing are some motions. What I need you to do is stand up. I'm just going to sort of pretend I'm standing because I'm sitting and otherwise I'll be out of the camera shot and it'll get really weird, okay? So what you need to do is step to your right and then touch your feet together. You're going to step to your right and then touch your feet together. It's a step, touch. And once you do that, you can keep going that way with everyone else. You're going to make a circle with everybody else. You're going to move your circle around like this, okay? You're going to go right together, right together, right together, right together. Your whole circle's moving, sort of like a machine, all sort of moving around. Now, in between those, we're going to add something. You're going to do three pats. Watch. Step, touch, pat, pat, pat. Do that. Step, touch, pat, pat, pat. 
next one's very similar. It's just claps instead of pats. It's a step, touch, clap, clap, clap. Try it. Step, touch, clap, clap, clap. Next is almost the same, except instead of pats, instead of claps, it's now snaps. Step, touch, snap, snap, snap. The last one's the trickiest one, but it's really not that hard. It's almost the same. It is step, touch, pat, clap, snap. Try that one. Step, touch, pat, clap, snap. Good. So you have four different things in a row. Let's try it. Ready? You're going to do step, touch, pat, 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 and then step, touch, clap, 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 and then step, touch, snap, snap, snap. Finally, step, touch, Pat, clap, snap. And your circle's moving around as you do that. When you do that step and that touch, your circle's actually moving around, okay? Now, how does that fit with the music? It actually fits really well. Here we go. Way down low in Cedar Swamp, water's deep and muddy. There I saw a pretty little miss. There I saw my honey. Great. If you could do that part with the whole circle, the next part is actually a little bit easier. What you need to do is pair off with someone who's next to you, okay? So if you've got four people in a circle, like, well, how can we do this? Like that. There's a circle. Here's a person. Here's a person. Here's a person. Here's a person. Hello. Yes. Hello. Nice. So these people would be partners, and these people would be partners. They face each other. On swing a lady up and down, get in the middle there, these two people are going to switch spots with the partner. So these people will switch spots and these people will switch spots. You're going to swing. You actually take hands and switch spots in the circle. So you go from here and you switch spots. Swing a lady up and down. On swing a lady home, you turn and face away from your partner. So swing a lady up and down, you take hands and you switch. Swing a lady home, you turn and face the other way. Now you're facing a new partner. And guess what? Swing a lady up and down, take hands and switch with them. Swing a lady home, turn away from, and you're at a new partner. The more people you have, the more partners you have. So you've got swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home, swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home, swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home, swing a lady up and down, swing a lady home. You have a new partner each time you do it, the more people you have. So if you've got a family, if you've got people at your house, if you've got mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, anybody at your house, you can have some fun with this song, with this little activity, by making some music together. So learn the song, teach it to everybody else at your house, have some fun with it, and have some fun making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. All right, second grade, I'm hungry for a fruit, a very big fruit that grows on a tree, one of the biggest trees that grows these fruits. You know what I'm talking about, right? The Paw Paw Patch. Let's go out. Here we go, right? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the Paw Paw Patch. Great. This time, keep a beat with me. Here we go. Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the Paw Paw Patch. Good. This time, let's actually clap the rhythms. Let's clap with our hands as we sing. Sing along with me. Here we go. Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the pop pop patch. Great. Better get my picture out here. I'm pretty proud of this picture. There they are. Got the pawpaw trees. Got the pawpaws. No, not my grandpa. I'm talking about the pawpaws, okay? Here we go. Let's point at the uh, let's point at the trees this time. Here we go. Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Where oh where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. Good. Let's let's point at the paw paws. A lot more to point to this time because there's a lot more paw paws. Here we go. Right. Try to keep up. Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Where, oh, where is pretty little Susie? Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. Great. Last week we answered some questions. Let's see who's got really good memories, really good listening ears. Let's see who can answer my questions. Again, first question for you is how many beats do we have in the first phrase of the song? Lou, 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 Lou. How many beats do we keep? 
four. Nice job. Now, one of those four beats has more sounds on it. The other ones, remember which beat has the most sounds? Lulu, 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 Lulu. Remember which one it is? It's the third one, right? The third one's got the most sounds, definitely. Who remembers how many sounds are on the third beat? How many sounds are there on the third beat? Lulu, 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 Lulu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many sounds were on that third beat? Four. Four sounds on one beat. That's a lot of sounds on one beat. Wow. Never had that many sounds on a beat before. Well, since they're all on one beat, they can't be long. They all have to be very short. So we'll call them four short sounds. Short, 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 short. Right? All the other beats don't have four sounds. All the other beats have how many sounds? Lulu, 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 Lulu. Two sounds, right? Toddy. Toddy, short, 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 toddy. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Try to sing it with me. Here we go. Toddy, toddy, short, 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 toddy. Four short sounds all in one beat. We've never had that many sounds on a beat before, but here we have them. Let's sing it and keep a beat together. Here we go. Toddy, toddy, short, 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 toddy. Good. Let's sing, sing it actually clap it this time. Toddy, toddy, short, 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 toddy. Good. This time, don't sing it. Think it, but still clap it. Here we go. This time, don't even clap it. Just think it. Good. Today, you're going to need something to write on, a blank piece of paper, and something to write with. Pencil, pen, crayon, marker, whatever. Okay? I'd like you to make a picture that shows what we just talked about. And actually, this picture right here shows just that. Four beats, right? Well, four trees. Each tree is a beat. First beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat, okay? So draw four trees, or really draw whatever you want, but I think it works really well with the trees. Then, on each of those trees, you can draw however many pawpaws, how many sounds are on each beat. Two on the first, two on the second, four short ones on the third, and two on the last, okay? Once you have your picture drawn, you can actually sing it and point to your picture to make sure it matches up. Toddy, toddy, short, 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 toddy. And it should match up perfectly, just like that, okay? So pause the video if you need to. Here's what I would like you to make and see if you can actually make your own picture of these sounds. And when you're done, don't forget to make some music. second grade we're gonna be making an instrument today and no I'm not sponsored by Diet Coke although if they saw this they might send me some money but who knows but you need three bottles that are the exact same I just have these three Diet Coke bottles they are the exact same they're all the same whatever bottle you pick make sure they're all the same because what I'd like you to do is this if you'll notice I've filled each bottle with a different amount of of water. In fact, one of them I didn't even fill with any water. When I play on these bottles, when I blow some air over the lid of the bottle, listen, here's the one that has the most water. Take a listen. Here's one with a little less water. Do you notice something? What happened? More water, less water. The more water, the higher the pitch. So less water is a lower pitch. This one has no water. What do you think gonna, this one's going to sound like? Well, it was the lowest. Was there was no water? So it was the so we have a high, a middle, and a low. That sounds awfully familiar. Me, Ray, Do. Exactly. Here's what I want you to do, guys. You need to use your ears, okay? I cannot tell you how much water to put in your bottles because you might have different bottles, and that's okay. But every bottle is a little bit different. Every type of bottle is a little bit different shape, 
It can hold a little bit of different amount, different amount of water. You need to use your ears. And the first bottle you fill up, I would like to have the most water. How much water is that? Well, fill it up to a certain point and play it. It's me. Okay? Play it. It's me. Take your next bottle, and you're going to need a little bit less water. Listen when you play it compared to the first one. This is me. The next one has less water, so it's going to sound like Ray. But you have to have the right amount in. So you're going to have to experiment. Maybe you'll have too much or maybe not enough. Pour it out. Add some water till you get it sounded just right. And it sounds like Ray. Once you have me and Ray, take your last bottle and put the amount of water in it that will make it sound like dough. For my bottle, it was actually no water. I didn't need any water and made it perfect, okay? But depending on how you set this up in my work. So what I want you to do is take their three bottles, add the different levels, experiment. Maybe have someone there and listen along with you. If you can play hot cross buns on your bottles, it's right. If you play hot cross buns and it sounds right, you've done it right, okay? So take a little bit of time, use your ears, Figure out how much water is needed for each bottle. It's like, a, it's like a science experiment, okay? So have some fun and make some music. second grade. Now I got a song for you. I actually had a whole song, just a little tiny part of a song. And uh, I think it might look familiar. It might. I'll show it to you. Ready to see it? You're sure? Okay, here we go. Now there's some music. You might be thinking, what is that? Well, I guarantee you, if you've been watching the show, you know this. I guarantee you. Let's first of all figure out the rhythms. We got a half note here. And we got some toddies. And let's just say on the rhythm. I might clear it up a little bit. Ta ta di ta di ta ta ta, and then a rest. Hmm, sounding familiar? Well, if we sing it on the solfege names, ooh, that might make it even more clear what this is. Where do we start here? First line, it's it's me, right? Good, not me. It's solfege me. Then we got these four in a row. All the same, they're below the first line, so they're not me, they're Ray, right? And then we got on its own line is Do, and then me. So we've got me, Ray, 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 Do, me, Do. Sounding familiar? Hey, diddle dum a day, day, day. Good. Hmm. Can we sing that together? Here we go. Me, Ray, 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 Do, me, Do. You know what? Um, if you figured out our bottles, I think we might be able to actually play this song on our bottles. Here we go. Did it sound right? Well, it should have, because that's what it was. With these bottles, you can actually play phrases that you know. You can actually make up your own phrases. So what I want you to do is this. If you have your bottles all done, if you have them all tuned up, used your ears, maybe had some parents help you. I don't want to spill my water here. I'm about to, though. Oy, oy, oy. Try this phrase first. This is a pretty easy one. Okay? Take your time. Don't go fast. It can be slow. It will be a fast bluebird, but play this phrase. Once you can play this phrase, maybe you can try writing out your own phrase and have some fun with that. Use me, Ray, and Do, our tri-chord, and you can actually make your own music using these bottles. In fact, you can even do hot cross buns if you want. <laughs> Don't forget to blow the air over the bottle, not into the bottle. Doesn't sound as good. 
experiment a little bit. Have some fun with your tricord, your mi re do bottles, and most importantly, have some fun making some music. We're making music with our Falcon friends. Well, we sure had fun this week, didn't we? So, until next time, grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear? Crossed over if I ever had.